The oscillating disc cutter is fundamentally different from conventional disc cutting machines, such as tunnel borers and the more recently developed road headers. Conventional disc cutters break material in compression. This means huge loads must be applied to overcome the strength of the rock. As a direct result, the supporting machine must be extremely large and robust. Cuttings from the breakage are very small because of the low energy efficiency of the method. The oscillating disc cutter was developed in response to the need for practical, lightweight, flexible mining machines. It uses an internal drive to oscillate a tungsten carbide disc, which is applied to the rock face in an undercutting geometry. The oscillating motion, much like that of an orbital sander, breaks the rock in tension rather than compression. This means the loads applied by the support structure are 10 times less than a conventional disc cutting machine. As a result, cutter lifetimes are increased dramatically. The oscillating disc cutter also uses a large inertial mass built into the machine body to further dampen cutting loads. High pressure water jets assist the cutting action in very hard igneous rocks. The energy efficiency of the system is obvious when compared to conventional disc cutters, as evidenced by the large chip sizes produced. Laboratory tests designed to investigate the performance of the oscillating disc cutter have been completed in soft, medium and hard rocks, all with great success. The research program has now reached the commercialization stage, where prototype mining systems can now be built. Hard rock mining by the traditional drill and blast method is slow, expensive and hazardous. The oscillating disc cutter offers a practical alternative for a true continuous hard rock mining system. In thin tabular deposits such as the South African gold reefs, drill and blast stopes can be replaced by self-advancing long wall faces. This method should lead to production rates 10 times higher than those currently experienced and that definitely represents a quantum leap forward in rock excavation technology.